Hey, first off, before I start, Drake album, Offset album, shit, I'll even throw Bad Bunny album in there. Which one y'all taking? Low key, like low, low key. Bad Bunny shit is fire. Not even low key. His shit's fire. I, I understand like maybe 0.5% of what he's saying, but the album's definitely fire. So I, I gotta give him that. I know good music when I hear good music. But what's up, y'all? Welcome back. Houston Chronicles episode three. Uh, right now, I'm actually about to head to the gym. I want to have a, I want to have a lit workout. Like, we're in the fourth quarter, and I really feel like I need to dial in even more than I'm already dialed in. Like, I'm dialed in, but I know I could go harder. I know my standards of what it is to be dialed in 100%. So, that's what we're going to start on this week. Like, really truly, I started last week, because last week I would say I, I dialed in. Yesterday, I think it's just my rest day. Like, yesterday I actually rested. Like, I rested, rested. I wanted to finish editing this video. So I finished the video all day. Like that's what I did all day. And it made me just feel like, damn, I didn't do shit with my day. Watched a little football uh, while I was editing and stuff. But that's literally all I did. I was in the house all day. I left the house maybe for like like eight minutes to run to Walmart. And Walmart's right there. It's like two minutes away. So that doesn't even really count. I barely saw the sun. Uh, it's cold. That's another thing too. It's cold. I got to get used to that shit. Yeah, no. So this week. It's me 100% devoting my life to, not devoting my life, but <laughs> devoting this entire week, the rest of this quarter, I'm going to be dialed in 100%. And I know I said that before in another video, I probably did. And it's the same dial, like I've still been dialed in, I've still been locked in, um, but I'm about to just ramp it up a notch. Because when you do compete, like I competed in bodybuilding, I competed in men's physique, I, I did a classic my first show, but I did do men's physique my last show. And... Overall, just when you compete in bodybuilding and you know how far and how extreme you can be and how locked in and dialed in you can really, really be, it's hard just walking around like, how could I put it? I have more trouble not weighing out every single thing I eat versus just like eating whatever I want. Like for me, it's hard to eat whatever I want. And I just feel more structured. I feel like myself when I'm weighing out my food and I know exactly what I'm putting in my body. Is it 24 seven? No. Not 24-7, but the majority, definitely. But right now, I'm about to head to the gym. I'm going to head to Alpha Land because I do want to lock in, lock in. And for some reason, I feel like it's super easy for me to lock in at Alpha Land. Like, even though people say it's a social gym, but I just like the atmosphere. I like being indoor, outdoor. Like, gym two, how it's that indoor, outdoor feel where you're outside, but you're still inside at the same time. And, yeah, it's just a vibe. The machines there are a vibe. Uh, just being able to walk around do other stuff like once I'm done with my lift I'll probably shoot around a little bit like I did last video or I might actually run the hills I might I'm gonna run the slants that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna run the little inclines that they have there because I need some explosive work so yeah that's the vibe that's what we're gonna do uh, I might do some work first though so I might go to the knocker lounge again I'm gonna spend a lot of time in there now nah, think about it yeah I'm gonna be there a lot like that's gonna be my second home <laughs> no lie. So I'm gonna go to my second home. I'm gonna get some work done on the computer. I really just need to clear off this SD card and respond to like two emails. That's really all I gotta do. And I'll eat before I live. So I'm gonna get some of the Alpha Eats and then I'll get into lift. So let's head over to the gym because it's like a 25 minute drive. And this Houston traffic, I'm still getting used to this shit. Like this shit's crazy. I think it's like a 25 minute drive. Let's see, let's see real quick. Yeah, exactly 25 minutes. So, before traffic starts building up, let's head to the table type shit like i get used to this <laughs> but not nah, all right so we got some quick eats from alpha eats we got hold on matter of fact let me bring y'all over here so y'all can actually see what i'm talking about so we got some cilantro jasmine rice we got some carrots we got some bell peppers and then i went to carne asada the reason why i went with steak is because i do want some fats before i actually live quick little fitness tip because you know we educated or whatever but quick little fitness tip you want to have your saturated fats before you lift so it can slow down your digestion so your body's not just burning through all the carbs that you do eat. So that way, pretty much your pump lasts longer and you don't burn out by like 
the second workout, by the second movement that you're doing. So quick little tip, if you want to eat your red meat, uh, your nut butters, uh, if you get a acai bowl and you want the coconut oil on there, have it before you work out and your pump will be crazy. But I'm about to bust this down real quick because I'm still going to eat uh, three rice cakes before I start just to have that extra fast digesting carbs because we got a big lift and I'm trying to go crazy today. Got a full push day, so I got chest, got shoulders, um, got triceps. I'm actually gonna train triceps. And I do wanna do some explosive cardio work, so yeah, I need the extra carbs. Yeah, I'm gonna bust this down. I got, I'm gonna knock out this edit real quick, respond to the emails, and then I'm gonna get y'all out there on the gym. All right, so work is done. Editing is done. Email is done. Oh, I forgot to send my email. I started taking too long to edit, but it is what it is. I'm gonna just send an email real quick. I can send it from my phone in between sets of some. But now it's time to get into the lift. We're gonna have a great lift. I might not even rock out with headphones today. I might just go no headphones because they were playing some funks. They were playing like old Travis and stuff. So yeah, I might just listen to the vibes of the gym today. It feels amazing outside. I'm gonna try to get in, get out. Well, not get in, get out, but I'm gonna try to get it in before it get dark and it start getting too cold. Cause when it start getting too cold, then it's just like, now it's a grip bowl. And I'm not, hey, no cap, I feel like tripping. I paid $4 for this shit. It was like $4.30 or $4.40. This ain't even no special water. Like, it's not no Fiji. It's not no Eternal, which is the best water. It's none of that shit. Like, regular Oz Ozarka? Like, the fuck? Yeah, I feel like bugging. That's the first and last time I do that shit. But yeah, let's get into the lift, man. Oh, wait, hold on. Quick little fit check. All right, so quick little fit check before we hit the flow. You already <laughs> I know what's on my body at this point. Anaka, Anaka, down to the socks, down to the tank top. I don't know if y'all get tank top though, because they stay sold out. Like we stay sold out of this. But when it does restock, make sure you go on it and make sure you use Colo Key, because it'll save you some cheese. I know you want to save some cheese. Everybody want to save some cheese. Y'all, oh, I forgot to show y'all the back. Go ahead, get you a nice little gym fit, and you're going to have a great lift. Because when you look good, you feel good. And when you feel good, you train great. God damn, my hands ashy as hell. I think I got lotion in the bag. Cause I don't know, what if I run into my wife out there? It's Alpha Land, you never know. <laughs> Let me stop playing. Come on, man, let's get this with <laughs> I was gonna rock out with music from the gym, but yeah, they're playing Jay-Z and Beyonce and shit. And I don't really rock with Beyonce like that. I ain't gonna lie, like, I don't know how, I don't see the hype. I just, I can't do it. So yeah, we got the headphones on, we gonna rock out. Oh, now they're playing Fox. Now I can take the headphones off. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Let's see it. Take a park in the chunk of this. Money spell the license. Oh, yeah, I'm about to go see now. I was locking. It feels 30 times better on this machine than doing this standing. It's all about finding a workout that works best for you and running with it because what works good for somebody else, like what works best for me, might not be the best workout for you because you might not connect with it that good. So all the stuff you see on the internet, all the stuff you see on social media, it's like a big ass library, like a workout bin. And you can really just pick and choose the workouts that you want to try. And when you try them and they really connect, like you connect with it, it feels good. You start seeing progress, take that shit, run with it, just build upon it. So it's not about switching up your workouts and having different workout routines every week, every day. Nah, it's about just picking a couple of essential workouts and progressively overloading those workouts. So either slowing down tempo, adding more weight, adding more reps, adding more sets. Either way you want to flip it, that's really what it's about. When you just try a whole bunch of different workouts all the time and you're just rotating through different workouts every week, every time you go to the gym, you're doing a, a, a new routine or some shit, you're not really making any progress and you're hindering your gains. So keep that in mind next time you try some new shit. Oh my, oh my. Oh, now they're back to playing cuts. Fought with the trap. I ain't gonna lie, just so I don't sweat out the jacket, I feel like I got a little bit of a pump. I'm gonna come out of the jacket. Still brick, but that just means I gotta work harder.
Sit. Sit. Good boy. day um, as you can see I'm dog sitting right now so I'm on uncle duties here he come right now he's not letting me get no sleep like I got no sleep for the past couple of days yeah. he been just like that was so rude legit cute though but yeah so he hasn't been letting me get no sleep it is what it is it's whatever I feel a little sleepy prop but Whatever, nothing a little caffeine can't fix. <laughs> but nah, so today I'm about to get ready for my meeting. I actually need to speed it up because I got to be there by 11.30, it's 10.40 right now. So I'm about to hop in the shower. I just had to make sure I got my journaling in. I've been slacking, I'm not gonna lie, I've been slacking my journaling. But I do need to get back to it because this is my form of meditation. One of my forms of meditation, so. And it's a major one because being able to But yeah, it's a major form of meditation because just being able to put my thoughts on paper and just see them, it's been helping me a lot. And it's something that I've really been priding myself on, just taking care of my mental health because taking care of your mental health is very important. Like, it's very important. If your mental health isn't on point, nothing else is going to go right. Like, other shit's just going to be fucked up. So I would definitely recommend journaling. I remember I used to be like, why do people write in a journal? But ever since I started, it's helped me a lot. And right now, since we are locking in with everything, locking in with our physical health, our mental health has to go hand in hand with it. So we're locking with the mental side of it. And this is not food. But yeah, so right now, just finished journaling, about to go shower, get ready. And I will catch y'all after the meeting because I'm not gonna bring y'all to the meeting with me. About to go get ready, shower, get dressed real quick. Luckily it's only like 20 minutes away and I gotta be there for 11.30, so it's like, not too bad, but I don't want to be in too much of a rush because with Houston, you never know when you're running in traffic. So, yeah, I'm going to go to the meeting and most likely I'll, I don't know if I want to come back here and then work out or if I want to go to the gym right after the meeting. I don't know because it's kind of in the area that I'll be in and I don't really want to have to drive back to the house to then go work out. I'll, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll catch y'all after the meeting. I'll check in with y'all and I'll figure out what I'm doing. Let's go. Don't look. Hey, boy. <laughs> the sun hits different in texas but yeah so fast forward about like shit like six hours since i last spoke to you that ass like six hours went by i had to meet him for 11 30 went meeting went well i will update that i will update y'all on that later my fault if i if i start rambling too much or i start talking too fast it's because the pre-workout is kicking my ass i was drinking it on my way over here uh so yeah so fast forward it went super good uh it's six o'clock is it six yeah Six o'clock, and I'm now about to get my workout in for the day. We about to get a nasty pump. I'm gonna try to have a quick workout, but I'm in with the the evening after work, like the major crowd at the gym. So I don't know how fast I'll be able to just get in and out. Uh, I might not show y'all the whole workout. I might still show y'all the whole workout. I don't know why I be saying that, and I still show y'all the whole workout, anyways. But yeah, so we're going there, get some work in. Just know we got motion, and it's all by the grace of God because none of this would be possible without Him, 100%. Like none of this. It's possible without him. I took the leap of faith and he just carried the rest. Like it, it's all on him. I can't take no credit for nothing. It's all on him. So, but yeah, fourth quarter, we started off with a bang ski, man. We started off with a bang. We about to go crazy. Cause this is just like a stepping stool. We got a lot of stuff coming. We got a lot of stuff setting in motion and all that. And yeah, so like I said, I'll dive deeper into that in a later video. But right now, time to go get that work in. I'm about to go back to vibing out the house music for like a minute and a half. So yeah, I'm gonna catch, I'm gonna catch y'all this side. Oh, and for y'all that don't know it, a lot of people might not know this at all. But if you follow me on Instagram, when I was on prep, you'll see that when I was posting my story, I'm listening to house music first thing in the morning, I call it getting lost in Ibiza. Cause I'm gonna make it to Ibiza. Like we're gonna make it to Ibiza. Y'all gonna see a video when I'm in Ibiza and I'm just gonna be sitting on the beach and I'm gonna be looking like this.
And damn, it's bright. And that is my moment where I'm just like, damn, I did it. I made it here. I don't know what it is, but house music just connects with my soul. I just feel like at peace when I'm listening to house music. And I just have it in my head. I have it in my mind. I have it in my heart to go to the Ibiza because that's like the mecca of house music. And it's I've been listening to house music since I was like 11 years old. No bullshit. Like, I'm not bullshitting you. Hope y'all could have heard me. But no bullshit. I've been listening to house music since I was 11. So, yeah. It's definitely a vibe. And I got to go to Ibiza. And when we make it there, this video is going to come full circle. But, all right. That's the vibes. What's good, y'all? So, back from the gym. Not gonna lie. I am drained. Like I told y'all, ever since I got here, I just been on go, 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 go. And I'm not complaining at all, but right now I'm about to make a protein shake. I did cook, made some ground turkey. So I'm gonna have a ground turkey wrap. Nothing crazy, nothing extravagant. I'm not even gonna show y'all that because it's like nothing to talk about. It's literally, I just need the macros. But I am gonna make a smoothie. We got a knock up snickerdoodle and a knock snuck snuffs. <laughs> a knock sucks cookies and cream. I'm going to mix these two together. I'm going to do one scoop of this, one scoop of this. I'm going to see how it actually tastes. I'm, I've never done it before. And I'm going to blend it up with ice and stuff in the blender. So we're going to see how it turn out. It's either going to be really good or really ass, but both of these are good. So I don't see how they're going to be ass if I mix them because separate, they're great. And they hit, I'm not going, I'm not even gassing it. Like they actually hit. This one's my favorite. Snickerdoodle. I could put this in everything. Oatmeal, pancakes, by itself. Uh, make it in ice cream, all that. Yeah, stinker doodle hits crazy. Cookies and cream is actually pretty good too, not gonna lie. But this one is just like OD is over the top. Mm hmm. It hit. Like, no cap, if I would have blended this with like Oreos, like if I put actual Oreos in here, and like, if I use milk instead of water, this little high key tastes like a milkshake. It busts. If y'all wanna try it, let me know how it go. But I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I'm about to call it a night. I am drained, like your boy is tired, no cap. I'm tired, like being on go this much, I haven't been on go this much probably since like my first two years of college, no lie. But it's good though, I asked for this, so I'm not complaining at all. My body just gotta get adjusted. But it's been real, stay up, stay safe. Love, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace. <laughs>